what is up guys it's brady here and today we are back with another video now this is a video where of course i'm sure that some people are going to be mad at me for making but um if you are then that's fine by me leave a hate comment or something i don't really care but um anyway today we are going to be looking at some leaked pictures of the spirit halloween 2021 themes setups and store exclusives whatever you want to call them now these images all came out like a little over a week ago and i was nice enough not to um make a video on it until at least spear halloween released their graveyard shift video which if you haven't seen that please go watch it because a lot of this stuff is not going to make sense because i'm not going to really be going in too in depth on the props but um anyway so th these this is not a big deal i mean if you're still mad oh he's leaking stuff he's gonna get sued th this is not like fbi files or something as htj said these are talking mannequins and cardboard setups i mean it's not that big of a deal of course that is what this whole community is based around and i know we all really like them but at the end of the day it's not that big of a deal it's it's actually not really a big deal at all because the themes are already getting like leaked through store windows and stuff but um yeah i mean if, if you're gonna be mad about this there's nothing i really can do to change your mind but anyway let's get into this and actually before i get into this i just want to say that yes the title was not clickbait I will be talking about a third theme, and I will be talking about which props are going to be set up in that third theme, as long as the archway. Um, I sadly do not have pictures of them, because I promised the person that showed me that I would not save, and I kept my word, but I will be telling all of y'all about the props that are going to be in there. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first image we have here is the main part of the front theme, which is the factory assembly line. Now. Um, I do not have a full picture of the archway with like the props in it and stuff, but there's an archway with this. However, when I talk about the props that are going to be in it at the end, I will be showing like a picture of it from a window or something. So just so y'all can see it. But um, anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about this. So I'm going to first go over what I think of the actual theme, then look at the props. So of course, this is only one side, but let's look at it now. Of course, you can see that there is a walkthrough that goes through the middle. I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to see what will be inside it. I mean, I don't have that high expectations. Like, I doubt it's going to be anything crazy like the aquarium walkthrough that they had. But still really cool to see and just adds so much to it. I mean, they have, like, chains going down and stuff. Then, of course, there's cracks where you can see, um, like, the outside with the props. And, of course, um, one of the coolest parts, there's actually um, a timer with... Like, it has counting down the days until Halloween. So, just some really cool features that make it that much better. And then, on the sides, each side is different, which is one thing I really like. Because last year, like, it was basically symmetrical. The themes were the same on both sides in the front. But, um, yeah. So, here, it's more of the assembly line part. As you can see, there's little skeletons and hard hats. Um, weird coffin-looking things with gears on them. And then there's some pumpkin thing, I can't tell. I'm wondering if that's like a fog machine, but I'm, I'm not too sure. So I love this front theme, and I think the archway looks amazing too, but like I said, I'll get more into that later. But let's look at the props. So in the front here, we have Nightcrawler, um, which is a prop that I really like. I'm so glad he's returning. Not in like my top five last year or anything, but I still think he's super creative, um, great animations, and just a really cool prop in general. Next to it, we have Graham, definitely one of my favorites for this year. Um, when I first saw this, I thought he was just a posable skeleton, but there's a step head there, and Graham just looks amazing. His, he, on the outside, he just looks like a generic skeleton, but his movements are basically like professional level, and I just think he's so cool. Um, I doubt I'll be picking him up just because of the price, because he is 280 but still very awesome. Now, next to it is the new Pennywise prop. It's kind of disguised in there with the theme, but um, Pennywise is an idea that I'm really kind of getting tired of just because we've had so many props and we haven't had a new It movie in like three or four years. However, I'll make an exception for this one because I am really enjoying it. Just from what we've seen in the graveyard shift, his jump scare looks awesome. The face is super cool. And unlike the other like jump scare Pennywise props, we it's actually like not really suspecting at all. Like if I just saw that, in a haunt, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it, and then the jump scare looks awesome. So yeah, really excited for it, but I do hope it's the last Pennywise prop. Now, over here, there's even more props. So on the far left, starting off, we have Beetlejuice. 
Um, definitely the best Beetlejuice probably seen in my opinion, although the old morbid one from Granite Road was really good too. Um, but yeah, I, I just really like him. I, I think they could have done the waist movement a little better, but that's, that's just me being kind of iffy. I think he looks great, super realistic, and I feel like he'll be, a, um, like a bestseller this year, because, I don't know, I, I think he, the Jimmy one was not good at all, and it still sold pretty well, like, at the places it was at. So, I think Spirit definitely has, like, a bestseller on their hands with that. But, um... Enough about that. Let's get to Henry Hustle. Now, when I saw Henry Hustle in this picture and when the theme was leaked, I actually was not, like, too excited. I was a little disappointed because he looked a lot cooler in the pictures. However, after seeing his animation in the video, he's got to be one of my favorites for this year. I just think the, like, for, well, like I just said, the animation is so cool. Then, um, when his head pops up to reveal that other face, it just looks awesome. Hopefully it doesn't wear out. And then, of course, he moves the cards. But, yeah, love Henry Hustle. I, I think Spirit Halloween took the generic clown complaints um, pretty seriously because all the clowns are seeing from them this year look, like, crazy. But, um, yeah. Now, next to it is Harriet Hustle, which is, I think, the first female clown they've ever had. Um, this looks very interesting. I think it, like, swings on a trapeze or something. And... It, it, it is related to Henry Hustle. I forgot what it said it was. I think it said it was, like, his daughter or something in the backstory. Kind of weird, but um, still looks like a pretty cool prop. I love how they made its own little special thing in the theme. This looks more of kind of, like, the outside of the factory than really the inside assembly line. But I, I really like this part, too. Then in the next little section is Punctured Pete, another prop I really like. Kind of like Nightcrawler. Not really in my top five, but he's still very effective. And a prop that just proves that generic does not mean bad at all. And, of course, on the far right is Buzzsaw. When I saw this, I was very confused because it looked like just kind of a fat zombie. I mean, I wasn't really even paying attention to the Buzzsaw arm until I looked closely. But after seeing what he does, he just looks amazing. He looks huge. And then um, his face has so much detail. And I thought it would be Buzzsaws on both sides. Or the second one would maybe just be a normal arm. But he actually has one arm buzzsaw than the other song, or uh, song, other arm is a giant hammer. So, he looks awesome. Um, I love how they have kind of a lot of props crammed into here. Because last year, it seemed like the front theme was like half new props and the other half was just returning props. This year, there's so many new props in the themes. There, I'm pretty sure there's only like, I don't even know, barely any returning props in the themes, which I am a very big fan of. And the ones that are there fit very well. And so, yeah, I'm a huge fan of this front theme. And I can't wait to talk about the archway because I think y'all are going to be really excited when you hear about that. So, yeah, let's look at the back theme. Here is the back theme. And before I get into my opinions about it, I just want to say shout out to the Nightmare Corner because I forgot to credit him at the beginning. But, um, yeah, um, he, as you can see, his watermark's there. Um, a lot of people, there was kind of some confusion going on because... Stucky and Bud, which is like another leak channel, or Night Nightmare Corner is not a leak channel, but like Stucky and Bud, basically just a leak channel, um, covered up his watermark and put their own, which just kind of sucks, but anyway, enough about that, let's just talk about the theme, I love this theme, it brings back the back theme energy that I feel like Spirit on Wings back themes used to have, then for the past two back themes, they've just kind of been like, they're, they're really cool. Like, I loved the aquarium. I thought that's one of the best themed Spirit Halloween's ever had. But it just doesn't really have that, like, finale kind of energy. But this one, even though it's not actually in the back, still kind of on the side, it, it really kind of carries that. And I just love it. So let's talk about it. In the front, you can see there's a little section you walk under. And, of course, there's two um, Digidi skeletons with hard hats on the top. I love this. I It just looks so cool. And the section you walk under is just so interactive. Like, I, I I, I just can't talk about how much I love this theme because I feel like they just perfected it for a factory. I mean, sure, no walkthrough, but that's not a problem. I think they did uh, amazing with this. Now, looking inside, you can have, you, or have, you can see four props, or actually five, uh, if you talk about the black and red jumping spider in the middle. But on the left side, we have a prop that's not really visible in this photo, but it was confirmed by an employee to be Night Stalker. A little disappointing. I was hoping we'd maybe get the, um, 
clown or the two-headed clown with the ice cream kid in it but it looks like that's going to be online only even though hopefully we might get like select store only props this year so hope is not completely lost for him but um night stalker is a prop that i'm kind of like i enjoy him but i really don't like the audio one of the weaker props for this year even though he's not at all bad um the next to it is one that i feel like was really underrated which i really love it is the caretaker i i feel like it's a fantastic prop kind of like a grave digger but with a little twist to it the one thing i hate about it is that the legs look like absolute twigs which i talked about in my everything wrong with video for the graveyard shift go watch that now also shout out to pumpkin market but i feel like that side's cool um i really like the props in it then on the right side there is harvester of souls Probably my favorite, or what am I saying? Probably easily my favorite prop being brought back for this year in stores, like in the themes. Harvester of Souls is just such a cool prop. Um, a very creative idea from Techie Toys, or I guess Spirit Owen kind of made the idea, but a great Techie Toys prop. And hopefully they fix um, it because a lot, last year it was like breaking a lot. So hopefully that's all fixed. Then, of course, on the far right, there's everyone's favorite, Wacky Mole. I'm really happy he's back just a great prop in general and yeah i i don't have any complaints i'm so glad they brought him back love that they have the original design even though some new features would have been cool but i just think this back theme looks phenomenal so far now if we take a look over here there are two sides on it which i think was great on the left side is mr dark is the name of it it is one of the most interesting props and i'm honestly really anticipating to see what he does because what it looks like is apparently he pops up from like three to i think seven feet which i i don't know how that's done but i'm really excited to see it hopefully he's not like really breakable because that would suck but I'm, I'm really excited to see him then next to it is honestly a really weird prop it's like a little crate or cage and then there's a hand coming out of it pretty small but i just love it it's I'm, i might actually get it if it's affordable if it's not like 150 dollars, even though it's that small but yeah two very cool props then on the other side is uh i, I forget the names i i forgot what the one on the left side's called it's it's like some one whole name sorry about that but basically it's like a little girl and there's a reaper behind her or i guess it's more meant to be like a ghost or demon or something but it moves like side to side on her and her eyes kind of follow it and it's it just looks super cool love kind of the off-putting look of the, the face on her then the reaper looks awesome too or whatever is behind her then on the other side there is evelyn leech which is um a bride holding the groom's head another prop that i think is really cool kind of weird because i think it has like the same animation as caretaker because it like holds the head up and down i just realized that but these are two super cool props and i'm really glad that they just made the extra effort of putting that stuff in the corner because it looks awesome also in a way this theme kind of reminds me a lot of um station z from 2015 i think yeah 2015 um but th there definitely are some similarities i honestly can't even tell you which one i like better because they're both amazing themes but yeah sorry that this video is kind of dragged on um i'm sure y'all are all waiting for me to talk about the third theme and the archway, which I will do now. Now, I know I said I was not gonna show the front archway theme, but it looks like it has finally leaked all over the internet. So, I mean, why not? What really harm could be done? I don't really see any, but let's just talk about it. Um, Now, on the left, we have the, I think it's called Baphomet or something. It's something like that, Um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but it's like some goat demon thing. Of course, it looks kind of like a reaper. Pretty sure it's seven feet tall, or actually probably seven and a half feet because it looks taller than Mr. Hal. Now, from what it looks like, I hope they didn't make it too much like a generic reaper. I, I hope like it has some really cool animation or something, but I'm not complaining. It looks huge. I mean, it makes Mr. Hal look small. So unless Mr. Hal actually is really small, then um, I, I, I think it looks huge. But also you can see the Hauntress. Um, which it looks huge compared to so i don't know then on the other side is mr howe but i think this archway looks super cool two giant props at the beginning one of my complaints for last year is that you had crouchy which was huge then you just had um 
like the butcher on the other side. I really wish they put Krampus or something on the other part of the archway just to make it look more kind of grand in the front. But I think they've definitely fixed the problems with this. And what I think is really cool is in the back part of it, um, it's not only Hauntress, but also Ghostface. And so they both pop out. Like, I thought they were going to do one or the other. But no, they did both, which is really cool. Now, I did say I was going to talk about the third theme. Not a photo of that yet, which I'm honestly kind of happy about. But actually, there is kind of a side photo. But not really like a main one. So anyway... The third theme is definitely very small, but I would definitely count it as a third theme since it is a cardboard setup in ICE. But basically, it goes like around the side back of the store, somewhere that connects to the wall, around like near the costume section. And what it has, it's a small setup, but it still definitely is a setup themed to the factory. And there are two props in it, which is Shorty from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and then Sam from Trick or Treat, as we've seen the past couple years. Now, even though this is small, I'm just so hyped we're getting a third theme back, even if it is barely a theme. I mean, it's really just kind of the thing like they did for Jack and Sally, except there's actually a setup for it. So I'm super excited. I have no complaints. But yeah, the themes this year are look really cool. Sorry that this took so long to make. Um, I was hoping this would be a shorter video, but it looks like that is not the case. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and bye.